Hey guys, I'm Jinx, and welcome back to Little Nightmares 2. Last time, you know, we we did a bunch of stuff. We woke up after being after being shot out of a TV. We found this house. We found Six, the main character of the last game, and we had a little game. Uh, we played a little game with a gnome, which was pretty fun, and we got this hat for it. Now, now we're here, and those are some big ass footprints right there. By the way, it was it was audible in the uh, last episode. I'm just gonna say it real quick and then never mention it again. You might hear birds in the background. I there's very little I can do about that. Those are my birds. They're in the living room. You know, my door is closed, there is a wall in between us, and the microphone picks them up anyway. They're just really loud. So I do apologize for that, but there's nothing I can do, sadly. We can just hope that they're quiet. Anyways, there's an outhouse. Oh shit, it's an actual place we can go to. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't think it would... I didn't think... The game would let us in here. Whoa! Okay. Alright, so there was a... That didn't look like a shadow kid. If, if you're wondering. That didn't look like the shadow of a child. It was more like static. And, y and you heard the sound as well. It sounded like... Static. And... It, he was trying, the kid was trying to reach this painting. And we just kind of absorbed that. Alright. Like an echo from the past, you know? <laughs> okay, that's interesting though. I don't like those noises. I, I really, 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 he he really do not like that noise at all. Alright, I guess that's as far as we can go. Yeah, there's something really horrible waiting for us on the other side of this, isn't there? Plus, the latch is hooked up to that hook to the left, if you can see. It's connected by the rope. So that... I don't know if that's significant at all, but I just kind of noticed that. I do not want to go through here. Six is singing us to be quiet. What the fuck is it? I, I can't turn the camera to the right. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what people refer to as the hunter, I believe. That would be a nice gentleman who's setting up all the traps and whatnot. Six, why are you standing? Well, what's happening? What's going on? Do you also not know where to go? Hopefully we can just kind of squeeze through here. We cannot. Where do we have to go? What's the... Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, he's gonna hear this. Yep, he heard it. Alright. He heard it. Oh, God. Oh, we're dead. Okay. There we go. Alright, just constantly run. Jesus Christ. Alright, down here, right? Oh, look. 
Look at you. Your your lantern was a little bug. Do we have to wait? Yeah, alright, he's leaving. Slowly. Jesus, alright. Oh, sickness signaling us to go. Oh, to hold hands. I'm trying. There we go. Are you just supposed to walk past him? Because... Stand very still. He won't see us. Oh, holy shit, it actually worked. He actually has T-Rex vision. Alright. I guess we'll just... Slowly... Very slowly, but steadily follow him. But soon we'll, we'll be out of the grass, so... Oh, I think we have to make a run for it. It's that hole. Alright. Oh, he actually got us! I don't think that's actually the case, you know, it's just the grass giving us cover. The very, very convenient grass. So... Alright. Are you just... Like, I tried running in there, it didn't really work. But maybe I just screwed up, you know? Maybe you can sneak in. Or just walk in. Oh. oh shit. Yeah, we might want to move. Alright. Alright. Feel more comfortable like this. I don't like this at all. There's... he's 100% just gonna burst through the roof, somehow. And you know, just shotgun in hand. Just hears Johnny us to death. Alright. Something tells me we haven't lost him. But... Maybe we've just lost him momentarily, you know? Just for now. Weren't we? No, this is a different place. And I think starting here till the end of the demo, maybe I mm, I've seen what happens. I don't know exactly. For example, I didn't know that this was a thing. I just kind of figured it out. So you know, credit to me there. <laughs> so starting here. Until a little later in the game, I I know a little bit of what happens, but you know it's a it's a while ago since I've seen the demo, so it's still mostly blind everything. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna sprint this time. Maybe uh. You know, that, that that is probably a better idea than to just leisurely walk off the edge with a tiny little hop and skip, tiny little jump. Alright. Okay. So now we can call her so she can catch us, I guess. Six, please. 
thank you. All right. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I'm not gonna lie to you, it looked like I would have made that jump without her, <laughs> without her as well. But you know, six is uh, for any of you who don't know. I'm gonna try to get up to that cage. Six is, I think, a little bit of a. She's not the most friendly person. I think she's like mainly out for herself. I don't think she's supposed to be evil or anything, but you know she just looks out for herself mainly. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I just wanted to throw that bit of information out there. All right. I don't know what is that a hat in there? I think so. Oh. There we go. <laughs> All right. And secret unlocked. New hat. Perfect. We're gonna switch to it. Of course we are. Because now we might be able to actually see Mono's face a little bit. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty cute. All right, actually, I think I'm gonna go back to the... There we go, just real quick. I hope... Oh, I just noticed that was on the corpse of a kid. I think that's the corpse of a kid. Oh, God. All right, that... Yeah, good, good that we're not wearing that hat. Jesus. I thought it was just there, you know? Oh, fuck. That six, what are you doing? Get into cover, girl. Oh shit. Mono, run for fuck's sake. Yeah, that got us. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, so we're supposed to sprint just as quickly as possible, I guess. So let's do that. That may be a good thing. cover. Should have taken cover. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, third time's the charm. Don't worry about it. So, bird alerts him, alerts him, take cover, and then we sprint and take cover here. There we go. And then we climb. Mono, climb. Duke can reload pretty quickly. Yeah, of course. Okay. Fourth time's the charm, apparently. Right. Bird alerts him. Take cover here. And then climb. We got stuck a, a little bit the first time, and that millisecond killed us. Am I supposed to wait here? Also, I guess he's firing both barrels at the same time. What's she waiting for us? There we go. That's pretty really sweet. I thought she just ran. I genuinely thought she just ran. Alright. Oh. Get down here. Oh, we can go underwater, but not forever. All right. Okay, so that's gonna be the mechanic here. You know, you go through slowly, and if he sees you, you go, you duck down underwater. But you can't. All right. But you can't stay underwater forever because air runs out. So, you know, just come up for a quick breather and then continue. Or maybe just stay underwater the entire time. That might be smarter, actually. <laughs> just come up for quick for air every once in a while. Then do this. Be I, I, obviously, you can't really tell when air is running out. But I can hear it. I can feel the uh, controller rumble. So, you know, it's, it's telling me. Get air. 
plus I think Mono just made a sound to indicate that you know you should go get up all right I think we can make it uh, all right that was close actually that was pretty pretty darn close I tried to sprint you can't you can't really oh you can but you know it's not that fast all right I know there we go that was close again with the air but you know it had to be that way all right let's wait for him to look and move away there we go maybe we can hold six's hand so we can stick together yeah there we go PS sticking together in this case would be quite smart. How? I know that's supposed to happen, but. Alright, come on, shoot. Shoot the thing. Oh, you're supposed to push it. Alright. I thought he was supposed to shoot it down. Never mind. But if we push it now, he's we're just gonna lose all cover. Aren't we? Six is showing us how to do it. Yeah, if he's caught, if he's constantly just camping the spot, just go in the water. All right. So we got past there. Now let's wait for him to continue. Let's not get shot while climbing up here. There we go. And let's climb up. All right. He didn't notice the uh, didn't notice the crows flying away. That's good. Whoa, a little lag there. That's okay. Oh, it's it's the it's the uh, grass again. See, they're gonna fly away now. Oh, but the grass actually should. No, it's it's a running sequence, I think. Imagine being that small and firing a double barrel. Jesus. And we can't really go back. No. Nope. And the hearing slowly coming back. Yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> With that guy, you know. Usually in these types of games you run from the monsters. Not this time. Completely murderized that guy. Rightly so, honestly. Rightly so. And just raft away, you know. To greener pastures, I guess. Alright. <laughs> Alright. So a couple of a couple of running sequences, you know, a couple of stealth sequences. I guess that was a nice introduction to the game. Can't we just, you know, like, I guess sit closer to six, you know? Bond a little bit. Because I think that would be a smart idea. And that looks like a bottle. Floating next to us, doesn't matter. It's saving. I'm trying to... Uh, See what's ahead. Oh. Yeah. So if you 
if you didn't put it together yourselves, yourself. TVs and all that are a theme in this game and heavily linked to Mono as a main character. You know, he spawned out of a TV. There was like a static echo of a kid that we just absorbed. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember seeing this, but I don't remember it being, you know, I don't know, like this. Alright, cut down. Oh, look at that. Over here. Another shadow, you know, another echo of a kid. Next to TV this time. Interesting. If you remember um, earlier, either this episode or foraged achievement unlocked so we just completed that area the uh, forest hunter area all right whoa that's a bird so there are TVs, broken TVs, hung up. And there are the clothes of a person hanging from one of the TVs. That's not ominous at all. I'm sure nothing bad happened there, you know, it's probably all fine. There we go. Okay, that was six. <laughs> I was about to get scared what that what was that noise, but it was six. I don't know if this is the way to go or if you can just explore this side part, but you know, we're just gonna explore it. Yeah, look at them. Y you know, just as if people just vanished, right? But their clothes remained. Shoes and everything, you know? people just kind of vanished those pictures are really not nice at all and there's a non-broken TV up there all right what I wanted to say about six you know before we continue and something else happens in the end of the first game a certain thing happens you know when a big event I guess and then the game ends as a result of that event, apparently, as far as I know, Six is now sick and apparently dying. And, yeah. Maybe I revealed that too early. I hope I didn't, but I, I really don't see it as that much of a spoiler. Because these games, you know, Little Nightmares tends to just not tell you what's going on. And even more TVs just hung up. Oh, you can walk through that, alright. <laughs> Let's ignore that. And I think we're gonna need Six's help here. Yeah. Alright. 
Yeah, even more clothes and all that just hanging. TV's hanging. But I do think I see what we have to do here. N6 is calling for us. There we go. Just answer, you know, make sure she knows we're here. Oh, there we go. Gotcha. Alright. And one more. Yeah. And I fucked up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'll do it right this time, I apologize. I, I didn't have enough um, momentum. There we go, two. Oh, you can call while you're here, that's cool. And three. There we go. Now I'm gonna go for one more swing. And there we go. Even that was a close one. Jesus. Alright, this should get her up then. And before we can continue, before we go anywhere else, let's... Or get her one higher, I guess. That's okay. Because we should be able to get up there as well. Yeah, with her help. Look at that. The jump. She's already waiting. Perfect. Alright, with a running start. There we go. Mono can jump pretty well, not gonna lie. Yeah, that, that's a far gap. Like, I don't know if I would make that. And I'm a fully grown person. Somewhat fully grown. Alright, let's not fall. Yeah, look at this. See, they're not... They're, like, static more than anything else, you know? You can hear it and everything. And there was a... I don't know if you could see that, but there was, like, a static effect um, on on mono. So, you know, obviously it has some, some kind of power that's uh, connected to that. To that. There we go. Yeah. Alright. This should be cur... Alright, I, I do not like those noises, and I do not like this image at all. But even he disappeared. Shoes fell down, presumably. Hung himself, and then, what, the body just vanished leaving the clothes all right oh shit look at that can we turn it off then i th i think that's uh you what you have to do here. It's the thing from the intro. I guess we're yeah we're in the TV now. We have that effect constantly, and the same black particles you can always see around those shadow children, and that you could see around Mono, or here as well. Okay. Oh. Thank you, though. 
So she just saved us, I guess. Or pulled us out, I don't know if we were in any danger, but I'd assume so. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you all next time. Auf Wiedersehen.